four and six this year, two two and four in the Big Ten. Indiana nine four and four, four two and two is across into the box, bounces up for JT Harms. Wisconsin's number for the most part historically, but the nil nil draw over this year gives Badger fans hope that they can get a result and pull off an upset here tonight. Ball in the box, there's Bacharach. He goes attacking. There were not many shots on goal here at all. A total of just three when the teams met in the middle of September, but both coaches. Double A tournament just a season ago with the Bruins. Mubali looking to play it ahead for Collins Oduro, the freshman from Ghana. Ball remains in play. Oduro is on it. He goes down in the box. Penalty to Indiana. What a good job by Collins Aduro winning position. And there was no choice but to foul him after he did get position with the space he had. Noah Glorioso, the senior. Here's only goal this year, came on that penalty. He's got one assist as well. Huge spot for the co-captain. Joey Mayer for Indiana in the Big Ten quarters. A short run up on his right foot. Mayer scores! Cool, calm, and collected from the co-captain. And the Hoosiers are on the board first, 13 minutes in. That's the guy you want up there too, especially. Someone who's had so much experience just in college soccer. I mean, he's a fifth year senior. He's been here a while. He's part of that, honestly, big class of five guys that have been at Indiana or in college for at least five years on the Hoosier team. And that experience is what... Just about 15 minutes here into the first half. Indiana with a 1-0 lead. Bolvinchin sends it with that left foot. It's a good-looking ball, and it just goes out of play. Washington State. There's a collision. No foul, says the official. Sergio Gonzalez. Keenan plays the ball down to the near side. Glorioso floats one in. It's a bit too high and over everybody. The freshman, he can beat anybody 1v1. Continuing to dribble the ball. Thought about a shot back. Post is looking for McDonald, but it is headed away. Uh, a lot of time left, obviously. You have the overtime now, which is different from the regular season. A lot of coaches are vocal about how frustrated what they were with that rule change. Cross in, it's a good one, but Harms is there. When it really matters in the postseason. The entire game is different now, seemingly. Here comes Sarver after getting the ball from Henderlong. Sam Sarver back to Henderlong. Just missed it wide, did not get everything on it. He had noise as they always do. Sarver will swing it in, out swinger with his right foot, headed away. By Wisconsin, Bailey went their way on Sunday. Mahalik looking for a playing partner. He has Barger. Barger, that right-footed cross of his. Dangerous, but nobody is there. Kumbali was the only Hoosier. When you're right. looking at standings-wise. Big Ten just so congested this year. McDonald, BB, a nice one-two with Sarver. He goes down. No call this time from Sergio Gonzalez. Now that it's November, the basketball comparison is acceptable, <laughs> especially with the game going on just down the street at Assembly Hall. And they will host the winner of Michigan State and Ohio State. There's a ball played over the top. The freshman, Herwojevich, Illinois native, cross it in. A couple guys go down in the box. Second goal. Balvinchin going to send it in with that left foot. Again, a bit too much on it. A couple of players went down, but Sergio Gonzalez says no penalty, and now we'll see a substitute. There's a nice through ball. Bialik into the box. Oduro the first one on it. A great angle take. That goes down as the first shot of the night from Tim Bialik. This year, two goals. Here's a chance here. Offside flag goes up. Perwojevic was in on goal, but was just a step ahead of Alex Barger. Harms made the save for goal. Ball goes towards the student section. Maybe one more cross, potentially. That is more than a cross. That is a laser that goes <laughs> over the goal. And that so take out a ball boy. <laughs> ball boy will get his steps in, and everyone else will get their steps in, headed towards the locker room. Indiana leading 1-0 after the first 45. Ben, Indiana, Indiana leading 1-0 on the they back were looking of a Joey for the Mayer first 15 minutes, penalty kick, of a penalty kick. In. We'll a take a break review, here. But, uh, Joey Big Mayer stepped up back in the second half in a few then. moments alongside Indiana Ben Haller and our entire Big Ten Plus crew. Penn State and Michigan, rather Penn State and Ohio State in the semifinals. Not in the uh, not any football means that would be an interesting <laughs> matchup. But Full of draws, so every single team that played them this year got at least a point out of it in the Big Ten play. Weird to see no way they had numbers forward. Fleming's through ball couldn't find anyone, and now Indiana can hit the Badgers on the break. 
Here's Sarver going on that left foot of his. Crockford is out and makes a big save. In their attacking third, which really wasn't the case in the first half, but they were able to capitalize on a few opportunities they got. Ball in the conference opener back in mid-September. Wisconsin looking to attack for the first time. Fleming flicked it on. Kevin Andrews may have been there for a chance, but Balvinshin has a go on his left foot that is blocked by back in 2017. Remember, Iceland had that great stint in 2016 in the Euros. Here's Sarver again, has Goombali to pick up. It's Goombali! Indiana has that elusive second goal. Maloon Goombali scores his second of the year. And the Hoosiers now have a comfortable two-goal cushion against Wisconsin. Sam Sarver just creates so much with his speed and then Maloon Goombali being in the perfect spot. But how about Sarver? A couple defenders just not able to keep up with him. You know, they pick him up at whatever point they want to, but he's just able to get around, and the handling skill is so good. And he had a couple of options at the top of the six, but no one more fitting than Maloon Goombali. He's battled so much adversity with this Indiana team. Coming into the season as a fifth-year senior, didn't know if he was going to with it. Here's Sarver again. He gets past his defender. Now he's got two guys to look for. Sarver pulls it back on his right foot across for Collins Aduro, trying to get it on his left. Flurry of guys in the box. Ball goes up in the air. Crock falls into place. Sarver plays it along for Alex Barger. The freshman scored once the season against Maryland. Running into the box with it. On his left foot. Ooh, nearly into the... But he's taken advantage of his opportunities. Here comes Sarver again down the left wing. He has been busy in the second half. Sarver onto his right. A great deke onto his left foot now. Deflected and oh, off the post and wide. Sam Sarver pulling out all the tricks, trying to put the nail in the coffin, and that pass, or rather shot, was deflected before it went off the post. The mishap with the kick, and speaking of Wisconsin, a couple opportunities. Andrews again here, 25 minutes remaining. You feel like they need a goal. There's the first shot on goal from Kevin Andrews, but comfortable for JT Harms. It looks like Indiana defense was not expecting that from Andrews, and it's a good thing JT Harms reacted just quick enough. A lot of, there's a. Uh, Here's Bacharach poking it ahead to Goombali. Goombali could look for a second, trying to get it on that left foot of his, but it goes. And now after that foul, is into the book. There's a header that goes in. Harms, teenth foul combined, although it doesn't really feel that physical. No. Cross goes in. First one there is Jansen Miller. He heads it away. Especially when you can. Bilek plays it out wide. We haven't said that name too much. Tim Bilek, the graduate midfielder. Cross goes in. Many guys are there, and there is the lifeline for Wisconsin. Header into the back of the net. JT Harms got a glove on it, but it sneaked past the goal line, and Wisconsin are right back in this one with 15 minutes left. Indiana 2, Badgers 1. You keep time of possession and you keep the ball and you're attacking third and good things are going to happen. Here as well. The goal for Wisconsin. Now here's Mahalik. Indiana would love a response. Got Kumbali in the box. Mahalik goes down. A good tackle. Mahalik still up with it. He fires a shot off, but it is just to the right of Kroc for program. Hrvojevic. The shot is blocked. Could turn it into a pass here. What a save from Harms. My goodness, that was a rocket. Harms hasn't needed to do much this year in this game, but when they needed him to step up, a huge moment. Not thinking about the future right now. They're thinking about this match. There's a through ball in. Baldwin Shun can't get it beneath his feet. Mahalik going to come in. There's another chance. Just whipped wide. Drew Brown was there. That two-goal cushion. Maybe up in the air looking for McDonald. Heads it along. Gumbali was close, but Crockford... The closest. Close and an assist this year for the graduate. Heaves it in towards the box. Headed up kind of in towards everyone. Clustered around the top of the six. 90s. Back a rack away. There's another chance just over the bar. My goodness, Wisconsin coming oh so close. Marky Hrvojevic. And it's like I said with Indiana, there's so many different guys getting involved in getting these chances. That's what I like about Wisconsin, too. 
and it's another. Could even be a national seed if they do that. Top 16 where Indiana's been the last nine years. Cross goes into the box. Rather, Harms just watches it go on top of the. Neil Jones said this week it would be naive to think this game would be the same, and both coaches have really not looked at too much film from that one. Low cross goes in. Q shot off McDonald. Jones not very happy, already on a yellow card. 2.15 and ticking, Crockford boots it forward. They've been dangerous here, Bacharach heads it backwards, and it'll be a corner kick now. Not only does Indian have the sheer speed. They Yellow, he is now in the box. A minute 52 remaining. How many more chances does Wisconsin have? In swinger looking for Crockford, heads it up in the air, goes backwards. Bilek sends it back up in the air. Harms should be the first one there, doesn't punch it. Rather doesn't catch it, just punches it away. A minute 38 remaining, Bilek. Up against Wagner. Several players in the box here. Ball kicked around. Bilek back out to Crockford now, playing as a defender almost. It's not a bad cross. It comes in the deflection. Saved, but the offside fly goes up. And now the minute 17 remaining. Indiana can feel it. Who's your army on its feet? Nate Crockford just visibly. 